Hello everyone, Chris Lashava with Remax Heritage Professionals and in today's video I want to talk a little bit about, and I'm really talking to home buyers out there, um, there's a lot of angst out there about buying a home right now because mortgage interest rates are so high. Um, and it's understandable. Um, 8% when you're comparing it to 3% is almost triple. And so that has a lot of buyers scared off. Uh, I hear a lot of buyers saying that they're going to wait until mortgage rates come down. I think the problem with that is uh, that's what all the other home buyers are doing. And when that happens and the rates do go down, then what's going to happen is there's going to be a flood of buyers coming to the market, which is going to increase demand. Inventory is not increasing. And so home prices are going to skyrocket again like they were during the pandemic. And so um, I want to talk instead about 10 ways that you can save money on buying a home today. So you don't have to wait till mortgage rates come down and then pay more for the same house. Um, you're actually better off paying more for paying less for the same house even if your mortgage payment is higher now and then when those home prices do go up because demand is higher and you have more equity refinancing and getting into a better mortgage rate um, so the first thing you can do to save money right now is to improve your credit score and pay down old debt uh, if you can improve your debt to income ratio if you can improve your credit score you'll get the best interest rate possible um, and that can definitely save you money on your loan. The second thing you can do is shop around for a mortgage. Uh, not all mortgage lenders or loan companies or banks are alike. So shop around a little bit and find out uh, what is your best option. I have some great lenders I work with that I know have super competitive rates and usually they are the best rates. Um, that's who you wanna talk to. The third thing you can do is consider an FHA loan. Uh, oftentimes people think of this as a first-time home buyer loan. It's really not a first-time home buyer loan. What it is, is a loan that allows you to put as little as 3.5% down. Um, also is a little more forgiving in terms of your credit score. Um, and so it can allow you to get into a home, uh, purchase a home sooner. Um, we all know rents are not getting any cheaper either. And so if I'm going to be spending 15, 16, 17, 18, 1900, even $2,000 a month, I'd rather have some of that going towards building up equity than building up a landlord's equity. Uh, the fourth thing you can do is look into a VA or a USDA loan. Obviously for a VA loan, you need to be a veteran. Um, but uh, one of the great advantages of a veteran loan is there's no limit, uh, no income limit, limit, and there is uh, no down payment requirement either. That's uh, what uh, you have earned, uh, an entitlement you have earned as a veteran for serving our country. Um, there's also USDA loans if you're looking in an area that is low density population. Uh, USDA loan is also a zero down payment loan because they're trying to increase density in those areas. There are some areas of Polk County that would count as uh, USDA eligible. So not only do you have to be eligible with a USDA loan, but the property does as well. And again, it has to be in a low density area. If you're looking in downtown Orlando, you're probably not gonna find a property that's gonna be USDA eligible. Um, one of the other things you can do is choose a 15-year mortgage. Typically, the interest rates for a 15-year mortgage are lower than they are for a 30-year mortgage. Um, quite a bit lower, so you can save money that way. You also pay off the loan in the, the home in half the time, which saves you uh, chunk of money on interest as well over the life of the loan. Um, number six, you could buy mortgage points. Um, and so this is basically buying your rate down. Um, typically points are sold in 0.25% increments. Um, and basically they cost about 1% of the full amount of the mortgage. So uh, to bring your mortgage rate down by a quarter of a percentage point, you would pay $4,500 on a $4,000 or a $450,000 loan. Um, so uh, if you have extra cash up front, that can be a way to lower your mortgage payment right away uh, from the very beginning. Uh, number seven, 
shop for new construction and i know i have said this in a ton of my videos lately but right now your best deals are in new construction um, instead of you having to buy the rate down in this case the seller is buying the rate down and they're not just doing it for three years two years one year uh, i know some of the new home builders are buying the rate down for the life of the loan i have seen interest rates as low as 4.85 percent from the buyer from the builder sorry uh, 4.99 5.99 all of which is a lot better than seven and a half percent that is going to save you hundreds of dollars a month on your mortgage payment additionally uh, those builders are also offer often offer op, offering sorry um, uh, contingent or a seller's closing costs they're paying your closing costs for you um, on the home I just purchased, uh, I didn't get an interest rate buy down because rates were still around 6% then. Um, but I did have my closing cost pays, which totaled for about $21,000. Um, so that can save you a good chunk of money uh, right off the bat as well. Um, you can seek out down payment assistance programs. Uh, Hometown Heroes just got another $36 billion. Um, but that goes away quickly. Um, but there are other down payment assistance programs out there. Um, and if you're interested in those, I have a lender that works with those programs. We can try to get you connected and see if you qualify for any of those down payment assistance programs. Um, the other thing you can do is look at homes that no one wants, homes that have been on the market a while, uh, maybe that need work. And uh, we could look at a 203K loan, which is a renovation loan. Um, those homes, you're not going to be dealing with bidding wars. They're going to be lower priced because of the condition of the home. Uh, by the time you move in, you'll be moving into a like new home uh, with all those renovations having been done for you. Um, and it's all financed as part of your mortgage as one mortgage payment. Obviously, and you can always do this, you negotiate with sellers. Um, even in today's competitive market, even though it's a seller's market, um, there is room for negotiation. Um, and so that is another way that you can uh, save money right now today on purchasing a home. So um, there are lots of different options for you out there. You don't have to, you're not in the market that we were in the pandemic where you had uh, basically um, no leverage as a home buyer. You do have more leverage as a home buyer now, even though it is still a seller's market, it is closer to a balanced market. And so there, I just gave you 10 ways you can save money on purchasing now. I don't think if purchasing a home is in your near future, I don't think waiting until rates come down is gonna be a good solution for most of you um, because you're gonna be in that competitive pandemic market again and home prices are gonna go up so much that it may cost you to get a lot less home than you could maybe even get now. Um, so uh, buy today, refinance later, um, and we'll work with you on that. If I can help you buy a home here in Central Florida, please reach out to me, I'd love to help you. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd love to have more subscribers on here and please pass on this channel to your friends and family. Have a great day, everybody.